and I welcome you back to the Debrinic Channel. And today we are talking about Lake Las Vegas, Lake Mead, and what is going on there. I've seen more videos, and some people just don't know how to do math and are completely wrong on their projections. And you may know who those people are. I'm not going to call them out by name because I don't need none of that. So, anyway, with that being said, if you like this content and to help the algorithm, please hit the like button. I really appreciate if you would do that. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And that will help the channel grow and help the algorithm know that you guys are into this content. And we are talking about the usage of Nevada's water usage. We are talking about Lake Mead. We are talking about Lake Las Vegas. We are talking about those three things tonight. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't have a lot of time. So let's get right into it. Lake Las Vegas. There's been several videos put out by Lake Las Vegas. Some have been factual spot on and I appreciate those people that are getting that information out. And then there's other people just opinionated. The 1.5 billion gallons that Lake Las Vegas is using is sucking the lake dry and they don't understand how come Lake Las Vegas gets the pass that's actually in Henderson and all that and then th that they have to conserve. Let me break it down a little bit for you. And other channels have done the exact same thing, and we've all come to the same conclusion, so it is what it is. I did it in acre feet the other day, and some people argued with me. I mean, I'm not here to argue. These are my calculations. With all due respect to those people, I, I do not argue with them. It's just pointless, but, you know... Here it is. Lake Las Vegas purchased 1.5 billion gallons and people are up in arms about this because they're thinking of billion gallons. In Nevada, they use 78,892,000,000 gallons of water and in Lake Las Vegas use 1.9% of that. So just keep that in mind. What a lot of people don't realize is that 80% of that is put right back into the lake. So they're only using a whopping 20% of that. So therefore, Lake Las Vegas uses 1.5 billion gallons of that. That's 1.9%. That's nothing in comparison. Just a drop in the bucket. Very small. Nevada uses 242,000 acre feet. Lake Las Vegas uses 4,601 acre feet. I was a little wrong on my acre feet. Actually, even though it's 302 acre feet, Lake Las Vegas is 4,601 acre feet by depth. I wasn't counting depth. I was just counting it across. So I was a little off on that as far as that goes. But even then, it's still a drop in the bucket compared to the 78,892,000,000 gallons that Nevada uses in general. So keep that in mind as well. The point of the matter is they're using a very small portion of that to fill their reservoir. Do they need to conserve? Absolutely. But to be up in arms about it, what are you going to do? They're paying for it. It's not like they're getting it for free. So the money's going somewhere. People that actually live there have suggested that Lake Las Vegas will actually no longer be able to use it once it reaches a certain level. They're not too far away. They said, well, if it evaporates, it evaporates. I'm not sure how much evaporation goes on there at Lake Mead. They didn't say Lake Las Vegas. I have researched it and they have stated that Lake Mead loses six feet a year due to evaporation. What a lot of people don't realize also is that they think that this is just going to suck it dry and then this is where all your water is going. That's just completely false. So you got 1.9% going to Lake Las Vegas, but you also have a lot of that water returning back to Lake Mead. There's two waterfalls on the backside of Lake Las Vegas that are beautiful from my understanding, what some people have told me. Now, I've never been to Lake Las Vegas, so I have no idea, but that would be kind of neat to see. When I get out there this fall, I plan on looking for that, absolutely. That would be kind of cool to watch. Also... Of the California's 4.4 million acre feet of the Colorado River water, almost 90% goes to agriculture, providing water for high value winter fruit and vegetable crops, portage crops like alfalfa, which we talked about. Saudi Arabia is using part of that to feed cattle. It's a vital part of California's agriculture. So there you have it, 90% of 4.4 million acres, which is a gob of gallons. I can't even begin to calculate that right off the top of my head. Goes to California's agriculture. The rest 10% goes to everybody else. So there you have it. That's where the majority of this water is going, ladies and gentlemen. We've talked about 
about this a million times. People ask me all the time, well, you didn't talk about California. Well, I do. You just have to catch the right video, and this is the one. Let's go check the numbers down at Lake Mead and see how much they have come up in the last four or five days since this all started. Now, I know that, like I told you, it is going to come up, and it has, but how much has it come up? I told you it wouldn't be a game changer by any stretch of the imagination, but I did say it should rise. I think my predictions were correct and precisely on. As we roll out to Lake Mead, you can see that the white lines 2021 and the blue lines 2022. And I go to the highlighter here and you can see right here, it did come up some just as predicted. I told you it would come up some, but not a whole lot. And you can see that it has come up about half a foot i would say in the last three days or so and which is great the inflows are starting to lag already which is bad news it is what it is and then you can see that your storage acre feet is up a little bit from the other day it was seven million thirty eight thousand today's seven million forty thousand acre storage acre feet in the lake currently so it has come up just a little bit and we go to your level is 188.05 below full of 1229 and then we are off to the next graph and you can see that your graph is always 1229 is your full pool and then on this date in 2020 the level was 1084.61 on this date last year the level was 1067.91 today's level is 1040.97 and it is starting to fall again 0.2 in the last 24 hours so they're really ramping up the outflows it's frustrating and then we go to your inactive pool is 950 that is where your power loss is completely cut off and then we go to dead pool is 895 i saw somewhere las vegas would be able to get water up to 875 feet so that's an extra 20 foot buffer for dead pool they added the last intake valve at the very bottom of the lake that is the worst case scenario and the level is down 26.94 feet from one year ago the level is down 43.64 feet from two years ago the level is 90.97 feet away from power loss in an active pool and the level is 145.97 feet from dead pool and we check your inflows and your outflows and you can see your current inflows are 15,015 and your outflows are 14,100 and we go to check the last 14 measurements and it's down 0.13 at least it's not one foot and something like like it had been earlier in the summer and we go check your weather forecast there at the lake and you can see that the sun is shining it's plenty hot there today your current water temperature is 85 degrees just like it was over the weekend and then we go to your air temperature and the current air temperature is a scorcher out there 101 and your winds are south southwest at 6 to 10 miles per hour we check percentage of capacity and the current percentage of capacity is 27.21 percent and then we go to your highs around 104 so you still got three degrees to go and your low around 83 and the lake is down 0.02 feet in the last 24 hours thank you guys for stopping by this is real short video for the most part as i just wanted to get the word out about lake las vegas i wanted people to really understand what's going on so if you're still with me please 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 share this video and knowledge so people can get a better grasp and not just up in arms about 1.5 billion like they act like that is a whole bunch of water and it is a whole bunch of water but in comparison to what everybody else is using it's not that much water in the grand scheme of things so keep that in mind keep your head up and let's hope for the best and we will see you next time on the Debrenic channel god bless and we will see you in a few days